Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your Lina Moore reading for July 2020. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in again. And um, this is actually the second of two videos that I'm doing for you guys. And the first is already online and that's a tarot reading. And now with the second, I will look into your month of July with the Lina Moore. What I want to do before I start is do a little tuning in with my singing bowl here. If you do not like this, then just go to two minutes minutes 30 or three minutes this is where your card reading is going to start and for everybody else who is like yes I would like to receive some healing energies from this beautiful place uh, Avalon then you can just close your eyes and you can take a deep breath into your belly and then relax and release all the negative and low vibrational energies from your body while listening to the singing bowl can do this a couple of times and then you can go into your own natural breathing rhythm shuffle your cards, lay them out and change the camera so that you can see your cards as well. Okay, so you are in this card deck as well. Let me see, you are this lady, no matter of your gender, your law of interest or simply the most important person in your July is the male person here. So this could be a friend and could be a colleague as well. Okay, let me see. You are in the house of new beginnings. Something is starting new for you. Uh, where do we have the child? Oh, wow. Look at this. The child is here in the bottom position. So there is a new beginning with a person, probably a male person who has a specific influence. This could be someone who is in a very um, authority, in a position of authority, who could be very influential, influential in general, or this could be a parent as well. Um, it could be a trainer, a coach. It could be um, a spiritual teacher. We had this already in your tarot reading. So there is a new beginning with a person which could be on a spiritual level or a friend level or this can also be of course love because um, of course this could be a love interest and I do see there is something starting new that is going to really um, yeah how do you say it it's gonna go grow roots there's going to be a lot of stability and it's probably something very long termish so either I feel like this is a partnership in a sense of, uh, of love or maybe even a business partnership. If I now have a look onto the love, I do see the love is in the house of relationships. So it might be that there, are, uh, that there is for you a love relationship actually happening. Uh, there is a lot of trust and loyalty in the love life, but also something in your love life where there is something that needs to be cleared and probably let go of. So... Let's have a look at the ring. A ring could be partnership in a sense of business, friend or love. So there is something that needs to be let go of, a contract that needs to be let go of or a partnership that needs to be let go of or something within this partnership that needs to be let go of. And then we do have um, the, the flowers here and the flowers could stand for a new appreciation really being appreciated in this partnership. It could be a creative partnership here because the flowers are beauty and creativity in all its forms. So it could be art, poetry, writing, 
um, music and um, so and everything that is r related to the beauty industry right so there is a beautiful even though something needs to be let go of there is something that is really beautiful and it could be a very creative partnership here as well um, we do have let me i want to look around your card a little bit further so you are thinking about an ending or a stagnation this um, so something actually in your life because this is in your in the house of the tree and the tree stands for life so in something in your life is ending and this also refers to work and there is a positive change coming we do have something maybe there are some worries uh, worries about how you are going to perceive in public because the park is the public um, or maybe other um, worries or something that is nagging on you related to the public which i do feel has something to do with your work here as well it might be that you are studying because the book is study it's getting knowledge it's some sort of specific knowledge it could be the truth about a situation it could also mean something that is hidden um let me see but also related to this to get a bit more information i do feel like you are going to get knowledge about some blockages and actually the blockage is also in your in your house so you will deal with some sort of challenge or blockage um, but you will also gain more information about this challenge or blockage if it is a blockage then you might learn how to and this is really beautiful because the fish usually are finances um, but also it's bringing things into a flow again and this is exactly what you want to do when you have a blockage energetically or emotionally you want to clear the blockage so the energy can flow again so um, it might be that you do this through, through something creative or something beautiful here um, that you will gain some knowledge that will then like bring things into a flow again Mm, let me see what else do we have here around you um in your oh let's let's go to the first three cards the snake could be complications and delays it could be another woman um it could be another woman and a lot of messages and then there's something about a withdrawal or a separation setting boundaries this could be also nervousness and stress related to a woman or related to some complications and delays um, those two together are the sign for being self-employed and since this now in a row could mean you being self-employed I want to have a look around the cards here as well so it might be that you are communicating here with another woman related to the topic of being self-employed but some sort of work also is ending here um, we have the fox here I do feel like with the clover and the fox I feel like this is about happy coincidences in general but also being clever about how you now be independent how you are self-employed there might be some worries related to this as well but again let me say you have the clover here so you have the luck here um, So let me see the house of work we have the bear here so the bear again is someone in authority so it might be that someone is actually helping you in your work life uh, it might be that you are working from home as the anchor is in your house of the house um, the house itself is in the house of the stars which means clarity um, about a home situation about a house could mean also spirituality related to your house I do see the crossroads here so a decision and that's uh, there is good news coming in clarity something that is um, with the moon it's like the depth of your soul it could be your psychic abilities or your deep emotions and we do have success here as well all related to your house which could be your house your flat something that is close to you or your family 
So it seems like with those topics of the house, there is a decision that you are going to make that is going to lead to a, lead to a lot of luck and happiness. It might be that you decide to move. Um, also, it might be that simply there are good news coming into your house or into your home life, into your private life. Um, it might be... I feel like there's a very a, a destiny energy because we do have the stars here and the stars is a very protective card and also you could say it's written in the stars so we do have some sort like energy of destiny here and um, yeah again psychic abilities related to your house um, or what your soul is longing for especially with those cards here what is your soul longing for um, let me see there's also with this other person there's also a destiny energy with it could mean that there's a lesson with this other person so let me see um new beginning i said this already there also come some uh, blockages or challenges with this person and i do feel like you're gonna have um, it could be a very mature person so the lilies also stand for maturity, can stand for a father, a father figure, can stand for an older male person. In general, this is also the card for family. So there might be some family, yeah, as I've said, father, father figure, grandfather. This would refer to family issues, let's say it like that, and to some blockages and challenges that you have to work through here. It might be that this person is helping you or this person might uh, be related to those topics here. Um, so and also those cards is something that I can uh, see for this person as well so we do have some sort of communication here trust and loyalty but also some sort of knowledge about this partnership or relationship so it seems somehow like you have either a partner or some sort of teacher that is helping you working through some family related issues here or some uh, relationship issues. Okay, let me have a look around. We had this already, so I do feel uh, like you are um, that like some work is ending. But also there is something about being self-employed. Where are the fish? There are the fish. So fish are usually something, um, the card for money and finances. So it might be that there are some hidden, that there are some hidden finances um, and that things regarding finances are going to clear. There's something also with you and the public and good news coming in that is related to your finances as well. And then we do have blockages here, but also communication or contracts that are then a solution or a success. I do feel like through some sort of communication, contracts, paperwork, um, those blockages can be cleared. What I want to do now is, uh, I let me see, I will follow your path. So we're going to jump now from your card to where your card usually would be, that is the mountain. And then we go to the next card where this card would usually be and so on and so on. And I want to gain more information about your way, about your path. So there are basically some blockages and challenges that either I do feel like you're going to learn something about this. Maybe you learn something about your own blockages. There might be some sort of help um, helping you gaining this knowledge or bringing the things from the hidden part, from the, from the subconscious into the conscious. There might be a friend helping you or this might be someone else helping and supporting you. Helping and supporting you, letting something go Letting something go that was wrong, or yeah, that was wrong. Um, something, something related also here to the public, where you can ask the question: Is this right or is this wrong? Is there, um, yeah, is there any situation related to the public, which could be your friend circle, your larger friend circle, could be something in society could be a party a celebration there is some kind of 
Um, Fox energy and the fox is also about illusions. Maybe someone is trying to cover something up in the public. Um, so there's a question, is it right or is it wrong? And this is referring to the public. At the same time, since we have the house of the public here now, there are the flowers. So I feel like you are going to get a lot of appreciation from the public. So I feel like this could refer here to your work, that you're going to put yourself out there. And um, maybe this is also about strategy, right? So that could be well the case because the fox also stands for strategy and tactic so what strategy and ta tactic do you have for presenting yourself for example uh, in public related to your you being self-employed and that might be something that you do that is about creativity and creating something about beauty harmony or the arts but also i feel like there is a lot of appreciation coming in Maybe you are a bit unsure about this at the beginning of the month and a bit uncertain, but there is a transformation coming. And this transformation will be an inner transformation that will then also uh, expand into an outer such um, uh, transformation. And this transformation is leading to you being able to clear out things. Um, might be that there are some conflicts in your life, but these are about to transform and being cleared out. So let's go in the house of conflict. We have luck, so I do feel like conflict is leaving your life. Mm, there might be lucky um, short messages because the birds stand also for messages or maybe it's a lucky uh, phone call that you're going to make here. Um, if this is about messages, it's more like quick short messages coming in. It's not like, like a big meeting where someone is telling you something. It's more like WhatsApp, like those kind of technologies where there are lucky messages uh, coming in. And those also refer to there might be something about your your worries that you have or your fears mm, maybe your worries and fears are making you being stressed out a little bit more than uh, you need to and i also see that when we now look into the house of the mice which again is worries they will clear because the star is on this house um, if this is about some sort of fears or loss or worries, I feel it will all clear. And there will also be some sort of clarity coming into your private life or your home situation or your family or some sort of tradition maybe. Then we have the house leading to the anchor. So this is some, it does almost feel like house work, working from home, then we have a big influence here. influence here. Maybe you are going to be very influential with the work that you do. Maybe this is bringing you into your own strength. Um, again, it might be that there's another person helping you. Let's go further. So the rider is good news. Good news about some, maybe good news from an influential person. Someone in authority, right? So that could be again a parent. A, t a coach, a teacher, um, some sort of spiritual guide. And good news are coming in. And then we have the snake here. So maybe this is good news from a woman. Maybe this is good news about some complications that you had in your life. Um, maybe the road was quite like up and down and left and right and like quite a windy road. And now this is leading to a decision to like to being at a crossroad and now being able to decide something and I feel like this is now related not to finances here but I do feel like this is related to making a decision that bringing something into a flow again and in a flow comes also the situation with this other person here that could be a lesson could be a karmic situation you have with this person could be destiny but i also see that something is really growing long termish but also something else is ending and i see a lot of luck and success i think this something ending is something positive here because also as i've said something else is really starting to grow 
and we have the double success now because we now come to the from the sun here to the key and the key is always inspiration a key moment something is opening up for you so there's a lot of luck and happiness and something is opening up for you so you have a new start a new beginning and then i'm back with you all right wow let me know if you resonated with this reading if so leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel if you want your own personal reading drop me a message uh, on instagram or here or just go to my website www.avalonrituals.com and uh, yeah you can book a reading with me online uh, on the website directly sending you so much love and blessings from avalon